Welcome everyone, you open the camera and mine is working but in your case this preview is completely black. So the first solution is we're just going to quickly try this. We're going to tap on the switch camera to just try and switch between the front and rear and hopefully that works. If it doesn't then we need to initiate a false restart. So for most people you can have iPhone 8 or newer. And if you do have iPhone 8 or newer, I'm going to show the key combination, then let's do it together. So you click release volume up, click release volume down, then click on the power button until we see the Apple logo. So let's do this together in 3, 2, 1. Click release volume up, click release volume down, click on the power button, and do not let go of the power until we see the Apple logo. And if you have older iPhones, such as the iPhone um, 6S and older, you will just press and hold the power and home button together until you see the Apple logo. And on iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, you press and hold power and volume down until you see the Apple logo. If you are having problems with pulling this off, you could always just turn off and then turn back on your iPhone. So let's try again open the camera and hopefully that solves the problem however it may not so if it does not then let's open the settings and we're going to navigate until we see general and then we're going to locate the software update sometimes a software update will disable the camera and you'll have to update to the latest version of iOS and if this does not work still, you're on the latest software, then most likely your camera is faulty. So if you just dropped your camera and you're not seeing any signal, the camera connector may have gone out. So we're going to try the massage trick. So I'm going to move my uh, camera position. So before we proceed, we're going to turn off the iPhone. So personal power and volume down together. And we're going to slide power off. Now I would recommend you remove your case, but I don't think I will be able to, so in fact, one second. So I've removed the case, the phone turned back on because the case pressed the buttons. So once the iPhone is off, the case is removed. What we're going to do is we're going to get two fingers and we're going to tap really hard all across the screen. And we're just trying to add enough pressure to get that uh, camera connector back in. So use one hand for support, and the other one, you're going to press really hard now, okay, with full force, and if we go to the camera area, you're going to tap all the way around the camera lens, we're trying to force this connector back in, okay, so we're just going to go all the way across, maximum pressure, you're not going to break anything, so that's the back of them. And we're going to switch over and we're going to do the front. So I'm going to use this for stabilization. Oh, that's not good. Again, maximum force. And you're just going to go all the way across your iPhone. The newer models have that really big camera lens, it's kind of annoying. But again, you're not going to break anything. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the back and we're going to get our thumbs and we're going to add a ton of pressure. It's going to smudge to the middle. So you're adding a ton of pressure. You're just pushing both thumbs, uh, thumbs to the center like this. Let's keep on going. And we'll just go like this on the sides. And then we'll do the front. So again, ton of pressure on both thumbs. And you're pushing to the center. And it should feel like a little workout, because for me it does. So just keep on going. Like this. And we're gonna turn back on the iPhone once we've done this. And hopefully after the restart, we're gonna see the camera working. 
you can also put back in your case if you want. So of course we know my camera is already working. So if I go to the camera, it's going to work no problem. If it still doesn't work, you will need to take in your iPhone for repair. I would actually recommend the third party repairs first, because if the connector was just unplugged, they'll probably be able to fix that for a cheaper price. With Apple, they're probably just going to replace your iPhone and charge you a lot of money. Uh, if Apple's repair charges are too expensive, you may just be better off getting a new iPhone from eBay. With that being said, if you'd like to help support the channel, please do check the description. Bye bye.